with Rajesh Gupta, CEO of Mahindra South Africa. Rajesh, we've seen a lot of each other lately, haven't we? Yeah, we, we did a complete trilogy. Started somewhere in, I think, 27 June. 27 yes. June, then we did Dawn Dust a Storm, then we did XUV700, and now this is the another such incident. So, we've spent a lot of time together. I've also had so much exposure to your products lately. Mm -hmm. And each one, I honestly get more and more impressed. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. No, really. And, and this is not just saying it, it's fact. I mean, the Scorpio N now, mm -hmm. and as you corrected me last night, all new, leave out the word improved, right? Because you said the badge is carried over from the previous model, isn't That's it? Right. That's about it. This thing is from there to there compared to the previous Scorpio. That's right. It's just, and the off-road ability we've just proven now. Do you, I don't think 1% of owners that buy them will ever do half of what we did today. Mm -hmm. But it just is so capable and it made it so easy. And that's what uh, impresses me. But there's something more impressive and you've done it again, is this pricing. How do you do it? Very interesting <clears throat> question. First of all, thank you very mm. much. Every single word of your, yours is very pleasing to you. And I think uh, these words will be a great credit to all the engineers behind, all the people behind, all the brains behind, you know, who developed this vehicle. And as rightly said, Scorpio remains very close to the heart of Mahindra. Scorpio is a legendary brand. Yeah. It has redefined the uh, market in India in 2002 when it was first launched. And since then, it has always created its space, no matter what kind of competition it has. Okay. At this juncture, this is a kind of a rebirth of a great brand. It's a rebirth, I mean mm. to say. This is where you, you redefine engineering. Right. And this engineering is so authentic, and that's where the meaning of authentic SUV is. It's so authentic and so rightly done that it will give a, a real experience of real adventure to everyone. You know, every single word that I use, yes. authentic SUV, engineering, a real adventure, and everyone, all in built in this car, and those who will experience this car will vouch for the words that I'm using. Well, but I can from a day and a bit so far that's for sure thank you mm. and at the same time when i use word authenticity yes authenticity is not about only engineering authenticity is all about also appealing to the people who really wanted to own it can't own it because things are so disproportionate out there so we are very happy that we are living authenticity in every single aspect it is okay. not only value proposition in terms of the vehicle that we are offering but also a value proposition which makes them a realistic dream of owning it and experiencing it. Finally, it is about a truthful partnership between man and machine. Yeah, I like right. that. Yes. And that is what we believe in. And uh, I think with this pricing, thank you to my head office also and my seniors who have supported <laughs> me in this request. I was so very persuasive to them that South Africa deserves something like this. That's, and I'm that's beautifully put. Yes. I like that. And, I, and there is a commitment of Mahendra for South Africa. We have we are living in this commitment every single day and we are happy that we are reaching to a different journey or different part of our journey. I'm sure each of our dealers will take best of the advantages of all these launches that they should have. do. They deserve to. But you know, it reminds me, were you at the opening of the assembly plant in 2018? Yeah, that's right. And the slogan you used there? At home in South Africa. At home in South Africa, Mahindra's second home. What you've just been saying now about South Africa deserves and the support, even in pricing, just makes me, it just reminded me straight away of that. Yeah, I, so the, there's always a vision which is being shared by the board of Mahindra and Mahindra. Mahindra South Africa is 100% subsidiary. And we are a, one of the biggest subsidiary outside India. In automotive, we are the flagship company. The only vision which is always being shared is that go and make South Africa your second home outside India. Right. So if you are trying to make yourself as a second home, you have to think the way this market is, the way the consumers are. Right. And then plan it accordingly. Then you are not a foreign brand, then you are a local grown brand. And I don't, I don't think so that we will not be a household brand in going forward in years to come. And that's what the desire is. Well, 
you know what you've done such a great job Thank can you. i congratulate you personally i know it's a team effort but rajesh you've done so much and i'd like to say you and i we've really become friends here over this last while Thank you very much. And I appreciate being here with you again. Alan, I really like the honesty that you have. Be like that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Rajesh. Thank you. Heading out onto the 4x4 trail right now. I'm being driven by Colin Wendell. Colin, keep me safe, please. I shall do that. Okay, I'm putting my life in your hands, my friend. But here we go. We're in for low, which they've said we've got to do and we're just going to see what happens. You're going to see. A and yeah, we go with the next one. Oh, he came a bit sharp, a bit fast, I think. Oh, no, no wonder. Ernest, a racing driver trying to do some 4 by 4 No wonder he came through fast. And here we go. A different angle on some of the cross angle. And some of the, look at that bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. There he goes, there he goes. And back up and carries on. Okay, this one needs throttle because it's soft sand, soft sand and Colin driving and there he goes through, there he goes and ah, look at that, look at that. Here we go again, let's see. Colin, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Colin. Come on, Colin. Yes, 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 man. I like, I like, I like. Well done. Ah. These oaks are going to pay for all the sand they're throwing on us, eh? <laughs> you need speed, you need speed. The need for speed. I'm with Carol Krunewald, a total legend in 4x4ing, and the man who's taught me more about 4x4ing than anybody else. Carol, why did you choose Klein Tafelberg to bring us to actually drive these new Scorpio ends? Um, well, this route is renowned for to be extreme route. Uh, they train the army here, they train the police here. It's a very, very well-known extreme route. And to prove the capabilities of this car, why don't bring them to Tafelberg and experience it yourself? Absolutely. And the fact is that we are already like basically at the top. Am I right? Uh, we're at the top. And we're every car has made it. Absolutely. Without any issues. Without an issue. That's amazing. But it's down to the route planning. It's down to the instructors. And for, first and foremost, it's the car. It's the car that was doing all the work. We keep them in the road. This car is thinking for himself. Thanks, Gerard. Thank you. Right from inside the car. But now this is Ben Pillay himself. The man himself, the product man, is taking us up this hill in the loose sand. Rajesh, you in the passenger seat. Ah, let's see how we go. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Throw it, man. Go. Yes, man. Go. Go. Yeah. That's the power of a Scorpio. That's the power. Look at this, man. The Scorpio. And it just does it, eh? <laughs> this has got to be the worst bit of footage you've ever seen. We're bouncing so much. There's nothing I can do about it. All right, thank you, Rico. Be good. A awesome. Piece of, a Woo. piece of cake. All right, thank you for coming up. Yeah. Okay, so it's my turn to drive now, Colin. Now you got to pray I can get this right, eh? Oh, you'll get it right. Are you ready to risk your life with me? I am indeed. But I've got to tell you... I'm a brave person. I've noticed that. I have. I've got to say one thing to you, Colin. This car has amazed me coming up here while you were driving. And I mean, Gerard was saying this Klein Tafelberg is world renowned as one of the tougher 4x4 courses around. You know that? Yeah, no, he said, so, he said yeah. so. Look, I was, I was quite impressed with what it was, what it was doing yeah. and how easily it was doing it. Yeah. yeah, well, this is the thing. I mean, it just is. Look at this. I mean, I just went over quite a substantial rock there. And it didn't complain, did it? You didn't bounce that badly, did you? No, not at all. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, look, the deep sand is another story because you've got to get your settings right and you've got to have the right momentum. That's the secret in deep sand, correct? Absolutely. So, um, yeah, that that is... There's a certain luck factor in deep sand, I, I would say. But basically, every one of them went through that rough, rough section of deep sand without a problem either. Oh, uh, 
really is impressive and uh, look this is a fairly unusual uh, terrain mm. to, f to find these vehicles correct but anybody who buys one uh, will know that its capabilities are uh, yeah, cert yeah. Certainly, mm. cert certainly beyond normal expectation and it's